What's up, guys, and welcome back to Expeditions, a Mud Runner game. We are back with one of the most chill series we have ever uploaded on this channel, so thank you guys for all the love, and uh, today... We are going to be working on this con. Hopefully by the end of this episode, we have an entirely new beast. One of the biggest issues with this thing is fuel economy. We actually already have a small band-aid for it, so I didn't realize it, but we unlocked the rear-mounted rack in the last episode. This is going to give us two more storage slots, so we're going to buy that for 1500 Then we also could upgrade the gearbox. We thought about this before. I think I'm gonna go for it. The high range gearbox, increased gear count, top speed and fuel efficiency at the expense of lower strength. We'll see how that works out for us today. If we're not towing things, I don't know if we need a lot of strength, but we'll see what happens. Now the biggest thing we're gonna be going for today is this roof rack. It adds seven storage slots to this vehicle, but we need to complete white spots to unlock the ability to buy it. That's about four expeditions from now, so we've got our work cut out for us. And in case you don't know, slots are basically what they sound like storage slots that you can put stuff in so we've got one on our front bumper here now we've got an additional two in the rear so we have 16 extra gallons of gas but if we get that roof rack we could bring even more gas we could bring spare parts we can bring kind of whatever we want and uh, move even deeper so uh hopefully this is gonna go well for us we'll see what happens i'm going to add some jack screws and some anchors in here sounds pretty good to me I wish we could carry more than 30 spare parts. The, the storage on this thing just isn't very good at all. We're going to be taking on Lost Island. Apex Europe has decided to do an expose on the construction of the dam. We'd like to make sure this is a series that highlights everything the reserve stands to lose, starting with an island near the proposed construction site. The dam is built. This island will be completely submerged underwater so what looks like this is going to be a hard one we're going to be traveling to another map it says we've got some height differences as well as some watery terrain one thing i have been wanting to check out and i didn't realize just how good this guy was anwar farsi can make it so your engine does negative 100 percent underwater damage so i'm pretty sure we can just drive through any water that we want at any time and go fully submerged and it's not going to do any damage so for 600 bucks that's worth it 600 bucks we can get a cane of Sheeta with us as well to increase our drone performance i feel like we oftentimes use operators when it's required just for like the mission purposes but we don't use it enough for our own use so we're going to start using those they're basically like perks more than anything so let's go ahead and skip ahead to a nice little morning time here we are going to go explore the unsinkable island i guess it's over here we don't have it on our our map but i think we might be going that way i i can't tell so we're going to find out here we go let's fire her up i like our little rear rack here definitely going to be useful going forward have at least a little bit of extra gas with us. Kind of feel like maybe we should have spawned in with the second truck. We talked about that in the last episode and then we didn't do it. So we'll see. Yeah, I think, I think we're going that way. This is much easier on this thing. I could definitely tell we've got a bit of a higher speed. So we, you know, that's good, but we're gonna be careful with that. But we're at like 1.4, 1 1.7, 1 1.2, two gallons when we're underwater. Hmm. I don't know what our best method is going to be to get across here. This really, this this one's throwing me for a loop. I'm just going to attempt this. We'll see what happens. I'm going to go, uh, we're going to go low in tire pressure. And we're just going to, we've got Anwar with us. I don't think we're going to take any damage. The thing is, we're going to be burning a lot of fuel. Are we even moving forward? <laughs> I think we might be, we might be drifting with the current. I don't, I don't think we're actually moving. We may need to rethink our, uh, our strategy here. Do we have any like paddles that we can, we can stick out the window and just get to work on? I got her in low. I don't, I can't tell if we're moving or not. I don't think we're moving. The face of a man with regrets here. Okay. I'd see the thing is, is I just, I, to get. We need to get just off of our, our left over there. So we need to get to like this area. I don't even know how we're going to get there. I mean, we can't cross here. So we, we could spawn over here and drive that way. It's looking like that might be the way. I think we wanted to spawn over at the field operations base. So I'm going to plan this out. I think we're going to go here, here. Hopefully be able to cross all these. 
And then we should be able to get to that entryway. We'll see how this works out. Here we go. I also spawned in. Ooh, I don't... I don't want this. We are going to trade... Change trucks. Here we go. Going to take this thing out first. I have our Tuz with us just in case. I don't think it costs anything extra to, to bring that. So... Can't hurt to have it just as a backup. And we're going to see what we can do here. So do we want to... We probably could... Just kind of go straight here. Yeah. All right. Looks like a pretty straightforward approach. I don't know why the game had us spawning at the other one. There might be some sort of a mountain range or something in the way. I know it's happened to us before, so we got to be careful. But it appears this might be a bit easier for us to get across. Already taken damage. Love to see that. How cool would it be if we could get some, like... I don't know, like big duck boat paddle tires or something. Have you guys seen like the big duck duck boats and they have like the, the big wedges on the tires? We could put those on the Jeep and, and just float along without taking damage. It's kind of a nice perk as long as you have mud underneath you that you can press against to keep moving forward. If you get a little bit too deep, that's where you get in trouble though. I had to go through the thick forest, didn't I, dude? I should have stayed to the right over there. I'm gonna go back this way. Can I push that over? Please, thank you. Alright, let's just stay along the beach side. I don't want to get stuck in the, the woods here. What's our plan for this? I would think we can cross right here, right? Looks fairly simple. Just a question of getting up on the other side. Which we should be okay. Some big rocks, but we could just roll right over them, baby. That's what I'm talking about, dude. This thing is such a beast. If we can get a roof rack to bring anything and everything we want with us, bring all the spare parts to build bridges, bring all the extra gas so we don't run out. Shoot, we want to go left. Dude, every little part of this game is a problem. Does really did a good job at making it nearly impossible to navigate. Every time you think you have a clear path towards something, it's like, oh no, there's some random tree or group of trees that somebody placed that you're in trouble. Okay. How are we going to get across here? I guess we're going to have to go around to the right. I don't think we have a choice. Just carving our own path, baby. We're going to be fun. Oh, that was not smart. I mean, realistically, how how deep do we think this is looks like it gets pretty deep bro gets one hydrologist that doesn't take damage and thinks he became a submarine we're not we're not gonna do that we'll play it smart i am liking our fuel usage though compared to yesterday and the last few episodes woo seeing that 0.6 a gallon is nice all right let's make sure we're going the right way here we probably want to cross over and go to the right i think there was a little bit more efficient route we could have taken to get here but that's fine we're going to be okay if we're just cruising along the beach this is easy i can't believe there was a boat there that we couldn't use it's actually to the i looked it up on the map it's the boat to the volcano we should have seen that it tells us gateway to the dormant volcano unfortunately we do not have access to that yet Okay, I'm assuming most of this is going to be okay. Might want to let some air out of the tires. Maybe put it in low, maybe not. Just going to crawl along here. We are running at a pretty high RPM. So we're going to burn a little bit more fuel, but that's okay. We're chugging along, baby, chugging along. This is where it could get a little sketch. Okay, we want to go to the right sure many a truck has been stuck here in the past. Are we good? Problem is we have this current here too. Oh boy. Should probably keep checking. We're good. We just don't want to be right there. We are right on the edge of it. Dang it, dude. That was not very smart. I'm trying to get a winch connected to something over here, but we can't. We're good. Look at her go, baby. Let's fight the current. 
Looks like this is a buildable thing, but we're not going to be able to deliver enough supplies. We only have 30. And that just builds us a bridge across here? That doesn't even... I now see why. Shoot. Okay. Um, I don't think we have a choice, man. I think we're just going to have to go for it. Put it in high. Oh, engine's stalling. Why would it be stalling? Just send it. Just send it. Just send it. Oh, you know what we should have done? Nope. You know what we should have done? We should have used uh, inventory. Shoot. No freaking way, dude. Does it get better from here? That's why we need those those parts. We aren't going to be able to cross this otherwise. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? It's deep all the way through here. We're just chilling. Our only hope... I don't have enough range on that. Let me see. Winch. Wait. Winch on the front. Yes, to that. To that. No. I think we're pulling towards it. I think we're doing it. I think we got it. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Just float your way there. Okay, so next time we come back, we're going to need a bridge. Hopefully, we can get a fast travel point, but I think I think we got this tree. I'm just going to... The vehicle's shut off. We're just going to keep pulling us. Can we... Inventory? Nope. Pull us in. 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 There it is. Okay. If we use our inventory, can we put one here? There it is. Attached to that. Pull us up, baby. The question is, where are we going to go from here? I have no idea. <laughs> this, this is ridiculous. Okay. Release the parking brake. Fire her up. Let's reverse. Okay. Well, we made it to this one lone island. The question is, it's still deep. We might be able to get there, to be honest. Get this thing turned around. This is going to be the most ridiculous dub of all time if we get it to work. Shoot. Come on. Push, 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 push. Push, push, push. Pull us around, pull us around, pull us around, pull us around, pull us around. Come on, baby. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, it's gonna work. There is no freaking way we just made this happen, dude. Okay, let me let me check our echo sounder. We're good. I think we're good. Your boy is an absolute machine. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know if we're not supposed to be going to this yet. I don't know if it maybe wanted us to go all the way around this way. I guess that would have worked. But we're, we're freaking getting it done, baby. We used a third of a tank to get here. Really hope we're not going to run into issues with that after we tried so hard. But we'll see. Let's imagine we get stuck right there. Dude, that was a finesse. I'll take that all day. Okay. Looks like probably smooth sailing to the entrance. I really hope we can set up some sort of an outpost or something. Be very unfortunate if we couldn't. Not gonna lie, this is... Starting to look a bit sketch. Uh, I think we're gonna want to go in the water again. Dude, it's amazing how difficult this game is. Just the absolute deviousness of these devs to make areas like this. Like, who thinks of this, dude? I'm a little... Oh, no, I can see bottom. So I'm, I'm worried about this one. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they put, like, a, a thick channel there that you can't get through. Okay, it looks like our exit's up here. We're already through half a tank of gas. If there's much more challenge on the other side of this, we're going to be in trouble. I'm going to shut it off. Let's check. No flight zone, of course. Okay, we're not shutting anything off. We're just going to have to go through. Try to find a, a passageway. Why is our winch still connected? I did not mean to have that. Look at this, baby. We made it. Travel to the unshakable island. A gently sloping area that, if a dam is built, will turn into a reservoir flooding the surrounding areas. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I feel like that was a 
battle not worth fighting. So this whole thing's going to be sunk. It's going to be underwater if we don't do it. Okay. Explore the area, it says. You want me to... It's a no-flight zone. Explore what area? You want, can, I, can I just use some... Some binox? That got us nothing. What area do you want me to explore? How far away? This over here. Okay. Looks like there's a mountain ridge in our way. Oh boy, this is... This is not gonna bode well for us, I don't think. Well, we'll see. We can't build anything here either. We're gonna try to go around this way. I'm hoping we're gonna be able to do this. I'm just a little bit worried about the gas situation. That's the... The beauty and the pain of this thing, it's so good. You want to go so far with it, but you really can't. That's what we're trying to fix, but it's going to take a lot to even be able to fix it. Although it does look like these... Dude, I love all the wild wildflowers and stuff. These areas look fairly flat. Maybe not the worst thing in the world. There's a lot of rock, but we're not like climbing up mountains and stuff. So maybe we'll have a slightly better time with it. Dude, this is ridiculous. Look at this landscape. Can we fly our drone yet? We can. I'm gonna try to find the quickest, easiest way there. Do we want to go right or left? The area is all the way over there. We're gonna go left. Okay. It is a long way to get there. I guess we're not traversing water. Fingers crossed, but hopefully our gas is gonna be able to hold up. A bit sketchy through here. Heavily wooded. Maybe could have done a little bit better job surveying with the drone but at the same time just you know part of the fun is dealing with it when you get there i do like the size of this thing this is really nice for being able to get through bushes and underbrush and stuff like that obviously the the tire height for climbing things and the clearance for getting over rocks and stuff is where this thing excels but the size i feel like is a bit underrated. She's good at sneaking into places she doesn't belong to. This is the most beautiful place that we have been yet. Sunken Island, you better not flood this thing. Look at all these trees. Look at all these purple wildflowers. This would be so sad to lose. We're already over halfway there, so. I actually think we might be okay. The thing is, I think we have three areas to explore, so. We need to be able to get all three before we run out of gas. This is, it took half a tank to get here. It hasn't taken that much to traverse this. So that's the good news, but we'll see. Are we close? We're getting very close. We do have the extended drone range. I mean, we could have potentially gone up top of a mountain and tried to look down in with binoculars, but I think we're, we're doing okay. We are officially in the area. I'm going to shut her off. We'll put our drone up. We're gonna search around. The problem is this is a straight up mountain, dude. Really hope we're gonna have enough signal to check things out. Or 18, 20. Bad signal, I get it. I'm just trying to get as much as possible. So this is the middle. If we get up top here, obviously we're gonna have a huge view of everything. Dude, the fact that we used to think that we had to like physically drive all of this and now we can just fly our drone around is really really nice look at that it says we've got 57 percent. i think that's more than 57 percent lit i think if we go here off to our left we might be able to get the rest of it we'll see i'm really hoping we don't have to climb that mountain i'm hoping to save as much gas as possible but old girl akira i think her name is the drone specialists Extending our range and everything, absolutely paying for herself already. Just get bogged down here. This is the, the stuff that I love. There it is. Okay. I mean, if we get to the edge of this, we don't even need the drone. We could just binocular this thing. I don't want to go down if we don't have to. There we go. All right, I'm going to park it here. Let's shut her off. Let's use our binox. Look around the area. 73, 79. Okay, so we got all that. Now we just have this area here. I mean, I'm gonna make a path for the drone to follow. We... I 
just don't want to have to... I don't want to have to climb this mountain. We might be in good shape. How is it still only 81, dude? I think we're going to have to go, unfortunately. At least get a little bit better view for the drone. I don't love this. But what's got to be done has to be done. All right, let's, uh, we're going to reduce the air in the tires here. We're just going to climb this mountain. Use the winch. Try not to flip her. Really don't love this. Okay, I'm going to park this here for now. This is making me nervous. See, if we get down here, I think we could climb this. I think it's going to make us go all the way up top. Let's see if we can get our drone over there. It's like this, this area up here that we need. Definitely going to be climbable. 88, 89, 91, <laughs> 93. Please give it to me. Give it to me. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. 94. We got to be able to get it. If we're up to the top of the mountain. Bro, where... What darkness do you want me to, to uncover? We got it all. Got it. Take a photo of the wooden totem. Okay, so we're going to have to climb... We're going to have to climb the stupid thing anyway. Are you serious, dude? Okay, I... We might have bitten off more than we could chew. We're going to find out soon enough uh hold on do we want to go no i don't think we want to go down <laughs> i don't know oh boy um we just kind of got to try well, this is a predicament i mean i i know what we could do we did it in the last one let's place this behind us and we're just gonna casually drive off the side of a cliff here Smooth as butter. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay, let's use our jack screw. Well, that's not ideal. I don't I don't think that jack screw is going to help us out, game. Uh, let's go! That actually worked out! Come on, baby! There's no winch attachment points, but we might be able to get out of this. Hold on. We're in in the lowest tire pressure. We actually are moving a little bit. Dude, the fact that we, we landed and spun like that is impressive. Just get us out of here. Nope. Okay. We're going to use another one of these guys then. We're just going to blow our whole, our whole inventory in one, one, one thing. I think we may be a bit above our pay grade on this one, unfortunately. Like I said, I oh oh we're our parking brake was on. That makes a lot more sense. I don't think we had to use a a thing there, but we're okay. We're gonna be just fine. Throw our parking brake on now. Put our tire pressure back. Okay. Sometimes when you respawn with the jack screws, it automatically puts the parking brake on. Obviously, I don't always notice when that happens and it leads to some less than ideal moments. Okay, well, discovered a new climb, discovered a new area. Things are going swimmingly, you could say. Come on, keep pulling me up. Just trying to get to this totem so we can take a photo with it. Like I said, I think the problem is we're going to have to take photos with multiple totems. I don't, I don't think it's just the one. So here we are at the top of the mountain. We freaking made it. Start scanning. There she is right there. Got her in focus. Take the photo. Wrong zoom. Okay. Got the zoom. Get her in focus. There it is. The wooden totem. Now it wants us to take a photo of the island. We go back this way. And then we take a photo over there. We actually might. I think getting up top was the hardest thing here. We might be able to get this done. We got a quarter tank of gas plus our 16 extra gallons. Dude, if we get this done, I'm going to be so happy. This has been a difficult one. We do have to be careful. We've used one jack screw. 
We have one jack screw and two anchors left. A little bit wasteful with the anchor on that last segment, but we're okay. Just got to be really careful up on this mountaintop. Getting up on the mountaintop was the hardest part. But now that we're here, we may be okay. Shit. Pull us back. Pull us back. Pull me back up. Pull me back up. Pull me back up. Pull me back up. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Why does sometimes I can't... Is it when you're fully turned over you can't continue using the winch? Sometimes when I'm turned over, I can't pop back up. Pull us across here. Okay. We're going to have to be really, really smart and really, really careful here, Trev. We have come this far. We crossed the freaking river that we did. We did so much to get here. We want to make sure we don't blow it at the last second because we're being careless and we're trying to go too fast. I really feel like we should be low and slow in it. Low and slow. In fact, I'm just going to drone here to play it safe. I think we just go straight there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> We're not going to talk about it. We don't have, we don't have points to build that bridge. We're going to have to find a way around that, and I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to have to figure something out. That's a worry for the next day, though. Okay. Need another viewpoint photo. Find another viewpoint for a photo. What are you talking about? What do you mean, find another viewpoint for a photo? Are you saying I need to... Are you saying I need to go somewhere? You told me I had to get to this spot. I'm Sometimes I'm confused by the objectives. You told me I had to go to this spot. What viewpoint are you talking about? Or do you want me to go up there? Because on our map, it says we've got one and two. I'm confused. So I've been using my binoculars and stuff. I, I think technically we have two objectives. One we're on top of. I, I think it must want us to, to go up here to take the photo, which would probably make the most sense because it's the hardest area to get to um what the fudge man i don't think we're gonna be able to get across this without building this bridge if you want me to be completely honest with you there's not gonna be another way around i'm gonna put I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this we're gonna do our best i'm gonna pull up we just aren't gonna have the the supplies for it take 75. we're also running out of gas here I mean, we have a winch there. We... We might have a way. This is just horrible, dude. Slow down. I'm gonna bring her back this way. You guys might see what I'm putting down here. Don't run over the tree. I just hate all these movements. We're wasting a lot of time here. And... Yes. Fudge off the freaking trees, dude. I think. If we can. Go down here. No, you don't. That's right. We're fine. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. We need to lower our, our air pressure and our tires. Okay. Fudge, I can't get over this. Come on. Go, go. Can I get that? Winch connected where? It is, it's, it's connected to it. Holy shits. Can we freaking do this, dude? Please, hold on. Disconnect. We're gonna run out of gas. Come on. Come on. Come on. If there's a vehicle that can do this, it's this one. No freaking way. You stop it. You absolute monster. Oh my goodness, we did it. <laughs> We're going to run out of gas. I'm going to cry. It's going to be fun, Trev. 
The problem is, is we, I still don't even think we're, we're close to what we need to do. I don't know how we're going to get to the top of that mountain over there is the, the biggest issue. Um, I'm going to go till we're out of gas here. Dude, this, this was the, by far the hardest mission yet. I don't know why I'm going till we're out of gas to refuel it. I just like, I don't know. I want to see how far we can get. It's about to happen right now. And we're out. Can I pull myself forward with winches? Try to save as much fuel as possible. Let me just let me just go tree to tree. I'll go tree to tree here. Low key, kind of a good strat. I'm not gonna lie. If we go front winch, we should be able to reach a lot. Look at this. Dude, I think we might be able to go tree to tree to get it as far as possible, and then we'll put our 16 gallons in. I think 16 gallons might be more than we expect. Uh, I wasn't joking when I said I was going to go tree to tree. Let me check. See, this is like... I, that's got to be our only way up right there. We've got two anchors, and then there's a tree at the top. I don't know if we could put anchors in rocks like that, dude. If we freaking get this, I swear. And if we get up there and it's like, oh, hey, you were supposed to take a photo back here, I'm going to freak out. I'm going to get us as close as possible. Bring us this way. Dude, this is the most ridiculous thing in the world. <laughs> oh, gas stations hate this one trick. Pull us all the way up here. I don't think we're going to get pulled ab above these rocks. I think it, it might be time, Trev. We've got over half a tank. Okay, why are we messing about here? Oh my gosh, this is it. We're about to find out. We're going to want our tires and low. I think we're going to want probably our, our gear and low as well. I mean, that is straight up. Okay, we're going to get one shot at this. I kind of have to go to the bathroom. The biggest thing I want to know in our inventory... We can place anchors in that. Okay, I'm going to go to the restroom right back. Trev, you better shut your freaking truck off, dude. Save that gas. Oh, moment of truth. Okay, I'm going to back out. Dude, this... God, there's nothing. Let me... Just for chizzes and gigs. Yeah, there's no other way up here. Uh, I mean, there's that one there. That looks a lot easier. But getting there is sketch. There's that one back there. Approaching this from literally any other angle looks easier. We do have the, the tree at the top of this. I, oh man, dude, I want to cry. I think we, I think we got to go for it. Okay. Um, low tire pressure. In low. Let's just try it to start and just see where we're at this thing I love how our our what's it called it didn't even load we need to go more to the right we need up turn the wheel left come back there you go right there are textures have loaded in now come on don't get too oh my god Tell me we overthought it. Without telling me we overthought it, what the fudge are you doing, Trevor? Why did you just do that? I was going to try to put an anchor down. Hold on. If I put my parking brake on, can we chill? I, I mean, just kidding. I don't... This birch tree isn't going anywhere. We almost just ruined that. If we couldn't have reached that birch tree, I think we would have fell. I was trying to put my parking brake on and I released the winch. Oh my goodness, dude. I would have absolutely flipped. Okay, we're gonna put air back in our tires. Let's go back in auto. Tell me we freaking did this. Start scanning. What do you, what, what do you want me to do? Just take a photo? What do you want me to take a, a photo of? This, this, you want this. Focus is good. That's what you want there. Let me get her back in focus. That's the photo you want. That's a mission complete. Let's go, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we, we have a tank and a half of gas with this thing. We have a tank and a half of gas. Wow. We've done some more like farther 
technically more difficult missions, but I feel like a lot of the missions, like we did in Arizona where we were going downhill, that's a lot easier than going up. Dude, that was insane. Okay, mission number one on Unsinkable Island is down. Or uns Unshakable Island, sorry. So we're looking for white spots. So we need glamour shots, which is up here. And then we need so many heads, which I think is the one we're working on next. This is a normal difficulty, 2,296 distance. Two trucks, two trucks with watery terrain. Every time we think we found the last stone head, some hiker stumbles on another one. How common are these heads and why are they everywhere? Well, either way, it's good fodder for the marketing mill. So would you mind grabbing us some photographs? This one looks a lot more straightforward. Looks like we're just gonna be able to cross this probably cross here and then go to our objectives. All right. Feeling much better here. We're all loaded up. We have all the extra fuel and everything. Yep, looks good to me. All right, let's head out. Let's go get this done. I've got a feeling this is going to be a bit easier than the last one, dude. I, everything that we did there was just so insane, even dating back to the very... Okay, this is also kind of insane. But dating back to the very first thing we did there where we were crossing the river, like there was so much that happened in that segment. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We should be able to go down this. The thing about going downhill is you just, you gotta have balls. You gotta commit to it. If you don't, I don't like those bumps. But if you're hitting the brakes too abruptly or you know, you get yourself in a rough spot if you get yourself turned, which happens if you break too much. So you just kind of got to got to go for it. Pick your line and, and hit it. Can't get nervous in the middle of it. So can we go down here? Okay. Shoot. This is going to end up being deep, isn't it? Oh my goodness, dude. I hate all these missions where we got to build shit. That is, is seriously really, really frustrating. Echo Sounder, yeah, we're not making it across that. Unless... There is a winch point. I mean, we're not going to take water damage, so here we go. Just pull us up there. This truck is a straight cheat code, dude. We just gotta hope there's another one on the other side. Uh, orange and yellow? We might be able to make that. Not a whole lot. Uh, inventory. Shoot. 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 Dang it. Well. We're in a bit of trouble. Help. 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 What the fudge, man. I've got an idea. Pro moves coming up, baby. So we are going to winch to our Jeep here. Our con. Let's bring this guy with us. I mean, this, to be honest, is just a little bit of laziness to tow him, and it's probably not the best idea. But basically, I have loaded up this Tuz here with spare parts. So this is going to be our bridge builder vehicle. We're going to push forth. Okay, just release the winch. We'll come back and get him. We're going to push forth. We're going to build bridges. We're going to use the spare parts that this thing has, and then we're going to bring our con behind us to get to the hard-to-reach places. Is the, the strategy going forward. I really thought it was going to be an easy day. I thought we were going to be able to knock out... Okay. Do we trust this? I do. He's got it. Ooh, bit sketch, isn't it? But not terrible. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if I love this segment right here. But we're good. Okay. Please. 
deliver the supplies. Okay. Took 150. I was going to say, I think it's 150 because it's technically two bridges. Do we have another thing on the other side that we're going to have to build? I'm not sure. I guess we could bring this thing across to double check. We'll see. Just don't put this thing in the water, please. Let's get some all-wheel drive. What the fudge, dude? They couldn't have made these things any any wider. Hello? What in the world? This is brutal. But yeah, I thought today was going to be an easy day. I thought we were going to hop on. I thought we were going to knock out four missions, get the roof rack. I thought we were going to be big chilling. I mean, when we have the roof rack, I think we should be able to carry enough spare parts and enough gas to be able to do just about anything. I don't see that this is going to be needed again. So we're just going to park this guy off to the side. Job well done, buddy. Appreciate you. We'll shut the engine off and then we're going to go back to our con. Hop back in this guy and now we can cross with no issues. But uh, yeah, when we have that roof rack, we're going to be able to put spare parts in so we can build bridges. We can refuel ourselves. We can do pretty much anything we want. We just got to get to that point. And that is proving a lot more difficult than we thought. I feel like it's so easy to take a weird bounce on some of these. Come on. No problemo. Okay. Let's not have any mishaps early on here. Just gonna take the same route that we took with our other truck. I don't wanna be using any jack screws or anything else early. There she is. Zoom in a little bit. I feel like we're very zoomed out. Okay, look at this. So these bridges, now this this is here permanently. So really what we could do is we could go on some grinding missions and just kind of take spare parts all over. They're fairly expensive if you want me to be honest. But we could even take like a little scout thing like this and just try to build all the important bridges around the maps. I don't know, that's a lot of work. It's kind of fun to have to fix things as you go, I guess. Okay. Please get on this. Thank you. There we go. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Thank you for your help. For your service. I mean, this looks fairly deep. Oh, God. This looks better over here. Bro, are we still not going to be able to get across? Oh, no, it's right here. And let me guess. Then we're going to have to go the opposite way. I bet it gets shallow over on this end. They always freaking do that to you. What? Please don't. Tell me this is shallow over here. Looks better. Okay. We made it across. Going to use the winch a little bit. Thank you again, Mr. Tuz. Always appreciate you. We're going to have to build up some of our bigger trucks for sure. Uh, here soon, but uh, it looks like we're gonna be fairly simple. We're just gonna be going along the beach here Take the path less traveled and then eventually getting over here once we get to like This area I say we put the drone up We'll take a look and see what we think our best course of action is <sighs> Are you freaking kidding me, bro? Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. What the fudge? No, dude. There's nothing on the right that we can use. Oh, that's such a waste. I'm upset. Do we want to use one of these or do I, I think we're going to use one of the, I, I haven't really tried this yet. Let's try our winch. We're going to put it on this side. And if we attach it to that, if we pull. Okay. So we could kind of use the the things for, I swear in the past, it's our, we haven't been able to use that like that. Like when we get turned over, we can't use our winch. Maybe I'm crazy. God, that was such a waste. That makes me so mad. I was just thinking about cutting the recording because we've been recording for a while. We've had some wins, some losses. It's always important to stop your recording just in case bad things happen. I'm going to stop it now just in case, but bad things happened anyway. It's just not the way I expected it. It is absolutely the simple ones that get you, dude. That is so freaking frustrating that we just... 
lost out like that and there was nothing for us to pull ourselves on okay I'm going to put the parking brake on pause us for a minute we're gonna see I'm gonna let's skip ahead and get some daylight see where we're going I'm um, that's what I thought it looked like we had a pathway up into the mountain we're gonna take a left here and then we're gonna we're gonna continue on okay definitely a good use of those anchor points though I think the anchor points are a lot more valuable than the jack screw though so like we also get way more of them though is the, the problem so I think if we use one or two in a situation like that but then if we're climbing stuff jack screws can't help us at all the anchor points can typically you can save yourself if you're in trees like this we were just out there on the beach and didn't have that that luxury let me check. Do we want to try to cut right? I don't think we do. I think we go straight. That takes us up. Okay. Pays to do a little recon. God, this game is so beautiful, dude. I just love it so much. I, I don't know what it is about just being a car. I just like being a car and going on grand adventures. This is really, really cool. Okay. This... Uh, it's gonna, gonna get a wee bit sketchy there. I'm wondering if we should have went right. It's not too late. Because we're going to have to... Uh, that's up top. I think we might want to go right. I think going down to go up is going to be a better idea here. I think if we get down in that valley, we're going to be in a much better position. Hold on. Let me, let me check this again. I'm sorry. I just really... Don't want to mess this up. I think we want to go down there. Get in there to get that. For sure. Rather than going through all these rocks and everything. So we... If we can squeeze past that boulder on our right right there. Might might be the play. Could be the move. Not even going to mess with the rocks on the left there. It was the shorter path. But we're just going to go the easy one. Of course. Big rocks and overturned trees. I would expect nothing less. But I think... We should get through here. This is stupid. Just play it smart, Trev. We're good. Okay. So this area was not as easy as I thought it was, but I still think it's easier than the other option. This feels like a trap. But it might not be. I was going to go out and around through the, the ravine down to our right. We're good. Oh, that was actually really, really clean. Here we go. Start scanning. Okay, what's... Bro. What totem are you on about, mate? Stone head. I see like a piece of a castle up there. Oh, that. Okay, hold on. Got it. There it is. Okay. That's our first stone head, so I guess our next one is just down the path here. Could use our drone to take a look. I don't... I don't see any debris in our way. That doesn't mean there isn't any, and I feel like this is a bad idea to do this backwards, but... Sometimes your boy likes a good old-fashioned bad idea. Just gonna take this tree with me. Poor thing. She did us a favor, and then we tried to run her over but she'll survive okay I mean this is like a breath of fresh air after the last mission I, I still can't believe we completed that last one there is genuinely no better feeling of success than what this game offers is this gonna be a dub I'm a where's the head gonna be I was gonna say, I, would, I was assuming the head was gonna be up top. I hate how finicky this is. Could we use, maybe we use the mouse and keyboard is better. That's right there, okay. Get this thing in focus. There it is. Take the photo. There it is, baby. I think that's gonna be a stage complete, not a mission complete. Now we're gonna go down here. Okay, well. Couldn't be too easy. Looks like we have a straight shot, though. Back down to the beach, get to that island. All right, makes sense to me. Here we go. Feeling very confident. We've got our anchor points. We've got our both of our jack screws. Like, we're we're looking pretty good here. But yeah, the, the 
feeling of success you get when you've just been bogging along, blowing through gas, worried about your... Oh, this... This could get ugly. I'm seeing a potential bridge situation. We could use our Binox. 23%, 27%, 31%, 34%, 38 Okay, so that's pretty good. We gotta get the back side of it too. This is a bridge that it wants us to build. Um, let's fire this up so we can check the depth. This is gonna be really, really deep, isn't it? I mean, I think we could pull ourselves across. The problem is what happens on that other side. And do we think this could be better? I think it's worth investigating. I don't want to blindly trust. We got to get turned around on here. I don't want to blindly trust this one and get across. Because I feel like once we cross, there's no going back. So I want to go check down there because it does look fairly shallow down there. And if we could get across there, that would be ideal. I don't get why sometimes... Oh, there it is. Oh, there it's gone. Sometimes the the textures just like load and deload and load and deload. Please tell me this is shallow. If this is shallow, that bodes well for us going forward. Hold on a second. Uh, I don't know if we're... It's a little bit deeper than I would have liked. I don't know if we're going to like this. We got plenty of gas, though, so if we have to turn around, we can. Try to get up over this. We're good. Hang in there, girl. Alright. Shoot, dude. I mean, that... That right there looks, looks deep. We might be able to cross right there. Oh, I hope this works out. Otherwise, we just wasted a lot of time and a lot of gas. We're going to be okay, though. To be honest, we might be able to fly the drone over there. Let's let's test that out first. Well, let's use Binox because that's a lot faster. 65, 66. 68. So we have a lot of stuff over here and then like the back side of the island. That's 119 yards away. I think we might be able to use our binoculars or our drone. I mean, our drone is, is actually, I think we can go up to 200 yards because of our specialist that we pay. We get bad signal, but we can keep going for a while. We're at 74, 75. I wish we could combine the drone with the binox. That would be pretty epic. Discovered a new Ford, 80%. Okay, now we have this area over here and that area. Shoot, we should have looked at that area with the binoculars. We have a line of sight from here. Not really. I'm going to try... Going up here. I'm going to see... If we get a little height, we might be able to see over. Let me shut our engine off. Might be able to kind of see over the island a little bit. 83. Where are we supposed to be looking? This way, I think. 89. We're so freaking close, dude. I hate it. All right. So our worst spot is here as well as back here and here. Back this up to where we can maybe see there. Oh, my God. Got to pay attention to where you're driving, Trev. That's the number one thing. Try some binocs here. Dude, that was way too close. Okay, so if we look... No, doesn't work. Drone can get there, though. Most of the way. 94. Just do like a little spin in here. Try to grab anything else. Dude, the, the distance drone is OP. We got all that. Okay. Last part's gonna be basically this area out in the water. So we aren't even gonna have to cross. We're gonna be good to go. Well done, fellas. Good thinking. Don't throw yourself off the cliff now. Let's go back to where we were. We'll just drone across. We'll be good to go. 
And then it's probably going to end up making us go over there anyway, so that's that's going to be a lot of fun, but we'll cross that forward when we get there. I'll be honest, this is kind of a cheesy part of this game. I don't like the explore the areas missions. I really wish they would have kept the the what's it called? The like deliveries and stuff. I think those are a lot more fun, but we got it. Let's go. That was it. We just had to just explore one last area. Let's get our rewards. Go back to the HQ and that, my friends, are a couple more missions down. Holy cow. So we still have two more in the Carpathians we're going to have to take down. Honestly, I think we're going to save that for the next episode. I think we might do something fun. We might kind of mix it up and try another mod kind of like our F-350. So I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Peace out.